वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स today also i have taken a question to have a discussion uh, it's it's also a five mark question um i have given a little more detail after this uh, question that for example in this question they have asked write a note on bleaching agents used in skin care products actually they have asked uh, bleaching agents actually natural bleaching agents because we are studying in herbal drug technology there are many bleaching agents which we are using for getting bleach the face and the skin and uh, which is having immediate effect by synthetic products but we emphasize according to the question it should be a natural source of bleaching agent used in skin care products so i have taken for this question some of the natural sources of um, herbal drugs herbal formulation of herbal um, herbals which can be used for this purpose and in that we are going to discuss about today in this area especially and uh, here we are discussing today about first we will go regarding the skin you know the skin is a very very important part in our body it has a wide actually you can say skin is the largest organ that our bodies have effectively providing the first line of defense against the outside world that we know that it's having a large surface area which is giving giving us the defensive which is given giving us the protective whenever a foreign body comes into our <coughs> or anything which comes to our structure so that's the main defensive uh, uh, organ so so that's what the first uh, we are talking about skin then cosmetically most people like to keep their skin looking vibrate and feeling smooth that is everyone especially females male even everybody wants to make or to have their skin vibrant and the feeling it should be smooth so this is the thing which we are trying to do naturally it is possible for you to make it smooth and feeling vibrant that means it's it's new fresh it can be done so skin bleaching there are many words usually we used to use skin bleaching the question says bleaching bleaching substances which is used in skin care products that's what the question denotes so skin bleaching means what clean bleaching can also be called as or also known as skin lightening skin lightening or skin whitening it can also be called as so this is also a word which you should so synonym for skin bleaching instead of saying bleaching it can be called as lightening it can be called as whitening the practice of using chemical substances is an attempt to lighten the skin or provide an even skin color by reducing the melanin concentration in the skin so this is a common when you sometimes you see for a marriage or anything immediately we will go there is some 
it's, it's like doing a bleaching to the skin and to make it attractive. So this is, we are using chemicals. So we want to avoid the usage of chemical which causes lot of damages to the skin. So better to go for natural herbs which are available for bleaching and constant, it doesn't damage. That's what today we are going to discuss various types of available the herbal products or herbal herbs which is product which we can produce ourselves to make comfortable. So several chemicals have been, first we will see the chemicals which is available then we will go for the herbs that will be very much interesting for the students because you should know about what is the negative and what is the positive, how to make it into visible for us. That's what our aim to make even you can you can practice yourself and also you can tell with the other friends also to do that that you know, other patients who also you can tell them is as it is a cosmetics even it is also one of the very important need for the human being so several chemicals has been shown to be effective in skin whitening while some have proved or pro proven you can say some have shown proven to a toxic to have questionable safe profiles. They don't have safe profiles in synthetic products like even mercurial products are most of in European countries everywhere mercury having a bleaching effect so mercurial product they are using but they it's, it causes lot of lot of damages and also it causes toxicity. So that's what we are telling about that and you can see this includes mercury compounds especially most of them now it's burnt nobody should use mercury compound because they found out it has toxic effect which may cause neurological problems and kidney problems even which is applied when it is applied in the skin it causes it can pierce into the skin and it enters into the bloodstream in a minute quantities and it causes a lot of damages to kidney problems and neurological problems have been observed in many patients. So now we are coming to the same mechanism of action. How it acts even for the natural drugs also they have the same action. They have to go for this bleaching means what is. So as a pharmacist we should know what is the mechanism of action. How it acts to have a bleaching effect. So mechanism of action in the skin whitening agents may be a synthetic may be a natural even synthetic we are first we are discussing about this mercurial products and many other substances steroidal products which are you are using how they act they usually reduce the presence of melanin pigment in the skin and to accomplish this there are several possible mechanism of action how to how to how to reduce the melanin production they inhibit the activity of the enzyme which is responsible for the production that is tri, that is tyrosinase tyrosinase is an enzyme which is responsible for the production of melanin is inhibited so by that melanin production can be inhibited and the catalytic action of the tyro, tyrosinase is inhibited by the skin whitening agent that is the main mechanism how they are acting and detailed mechanism we are not going if you if you are interested you can go for the detailed mechanism study also as a pharmacist you should know that that is there are many enzymes and also pathways are there even we can go for reference but now at present the answer doesn't have uh, that type of details is not needed here in this junction but you should know about that for as a pharmacist when you know about the pharmacology and its action and many skin whiteners contain a toxic form of mercury as an active ingredient usually so now it is not allowed to use mercury L compounds and next you can see hydroquinone is also hydroquinone is a common used agent skin whitening it works by decreasing the melanin production it decreases the melanin production by means of it's a common agent actually hydroquinone and you see Tritinoin. Tritinoin is also a known as all trans retinoic acid may be used to whiten specific areas. It's a synthetic product which also specific areas can be whitened or lightened or bleached. 
So as we told, three words can be used whitening, bleaching or lightening of the skin. So it may be used in combination with steroids and hydroquinones. And alpha hydroxy acid is also a synthetic compound which is available in the market for bleaching purpose of the skin. It's also used as a skin bleacher. Kojic acid is actually it is coming from a fungus and it is taken from in, in Japan, it is taken from a fungus as well as it's by means of fermentation, it even it can be taken from a, a mushroom in Japan. It has more use, but it has also comes under here because they identified it is also it can be isolated and it can be used because it's having a very good effect which is proved and it is found to be effective lightening in some studies. And we can see about it is also comes under natural By example I have given this plant also. Understand? It is also a kojic acid which is isolated from the plant that is why we are mentioning here. And the glutathione is which is produced in our body from meat of taking about various fruits juices like pomegranate seeds and various when you are preparing sometimes when you prepare with avocado and it is also it produces and this glutathione have a tendency to give very glowness to your skin most common internal it can be taken internally it's the most common agent taking by mouth that means oral root in an attempt to whiten the skin it may also be used as a cream in external also. It is an antioxidant normally made by the body. And herbals used as skin bleaching agents now. We are going to see. Now we have seen the synthetic products and now we are going to see the herbals used as a skin bleaching agents. First one honey, honey individually doesn't act as a bleaching agent by comp combining but anyhow honey is a very soothing agent, antiseptic uh, activity, antibacterial activity it has and soothing agent is moisturizing so you can see a natural skin bleaching agent when it is combined. Honey has antibacterial property and it is also antioxidant, antioxidant. We might have heard about antioxidant. They are very much useful for acting as an they will reduce as act as an antioxidant and they support even for proliferative growth. They are very much useful for cancer also. Cancer is development also. They used to stop. So they are very much useful for here also for bleaching activity, supporting activity, and it is good for treating acne acne in the, in the in the pubic stage or in the some as you can see the pimples red acne and it helps to slow down the aging process wrinkles in the skin it can also helps to in the age aging problems wrinkles can also be reduced by means of this honey and it helps to moisturize and smooth soothe the skin but it is not re re really a skin lightener or a bleacher understand it is not it doesn't bleaches or lightener or whitening when it is used alone that you should have a note point honey the best bleaching so solution for a skin simply simply for an for a simple if you want to prepare orange contain vitamin C which is one of the most important ingredient for your skin. It's the most very important. And they can, can they contain even citric acid, a natural bleaching property. And for an effective solution to get the bleaching, mix two spoons of orange juice with a pinch of grounded, pulverized, size reduced turmeric powder good turmeric powder you will get very good preparation solution so just we are showing with little more added some of the ingredients 
Apart from that, you can see this video and you can prepare yourself in your home and you can apply. I will just tell you how to make this and how you can, you can see this, how he is explaining. See, he take a dish and what he is keeping with a spoon is tamarind. Tamarind. It's a, tamarind is a fruit actually. The fruit which is dried and it is called, you can see, puli which we are using for various curries when you are preparing. Add two spoons full of water as he's shown. And by spoon, make a paste. You have to make it a paste. A semi-solid paste. You might, it's a pulpy paste can be formed from this tamarind. You might have experienced in preparing. You see how he is making. After getting that paste, you see, he will take it in the spoon. Just observe the video, just that is the main and transfer to another dish. Transfer to another dish, one spoon or an, just my, what is, and then you add one spoon of curd. It should be very good curd. See, the curd should be added, one spoon curd. And then you take a half fresh lemon and take a juice of one spoon, only one spoon. Don't take, if it is more is there, so don't add only one spoon and other you can keep for another juice or something like that. You add, it has vitamin C, it has uh, citric acid, it has, uh, uh, so it is very good for a natural bleaching effect. And a half a spoon of, see here, half a spoon of turmeric, mix it. And then you add to this one spoon of honey. One spoon of honey. You see, one spoon of honey. Your ingredients over for the preparation. Very simple for your preparation. And go on stirring. As a pharmacist, you should know trituration by the spoon. Triturate. Make it a very good cream. With patience, you not do immediately, you don't do, take it. Five minutes minimum. The how you mix, how long you mix, how you get the tendon, how you get the consistency, very important. Can you see that? A smooth, semi-solid, consistency, very good condition and golden yellow pack is ready, bleaching pack is ready. So now, how to apply is this? How to use this? Very important. How you are going to use this? That is a very important concept now you are going to do. You cannot apply directly immediately to your face. You can apply even to the neck. And everywhere you can use even all the place wherever you want to even apply to your hands also it's possible. So how to use? First you have to clean your face properly with water and then you steam your face or steam your place wherever you want to apply this. How to steam? If you don't have steamer, if you don't have a steam a steaming hot system in your house, it's very easy. Go for a boiling water in a vessel, take a cloth, take a good towel or a cloth, soft cloth, dip it into the hot water and squeeze it, it will have a steam coming out, hot means it comes steams, that you keep it everywhere, the place which wherever you want to apply. That is called steaming. And after steaming, your skin, the skin is ready for the application. And then you apply completely as a mask to the whole place and wherever you want to apply the skin, wherever you are steamed properly, just apply. And after applying, it is necessary for you to wait for 30 minutes. Please wait for 30 minutes. After completely dry, how to wash it off? Not by an ordinary tap water, uh, go, no, don't wash. Just take a warm water, not a hot water. Warm water, wash completely. You will feel fresh and you will get Slight change in your face. You cannot expect 
what you are getting from the synthetic products what you are getting from the hydro um, 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 the cortisones and other other hormone and uh, steroids whichever you are using you cannot get but anyhow this changes after a month you sh- you need to do daily it's a simple procedure so within a month you will get a very good prospect and very good effect in your skin but slow and steady which will constantly doesn't damage your skin but in the same time if you go for bleaching with a synthetic product it will give immediate effect but it will damage your skin and it will cause a lot of uh, d- d- difficulties understand so you try with this as i have shown you so it will helpful for you to have this procedure and practice in your home and now we are coming to certain herbal drugs and herbal formula which you have added and how it is it's some of the names and it should be added for your question five mark question means you should in add it and if it is asked for even essay question also sometimes not for only for bleaching they may ask some drugs which are having some skin skin um, health care in skin care products can you give some examples and explain how they will act and what all the things if you ask you can write all the things what i have included here now you see citrus extract just now we have made one paste golden yellow golden paste for bleaching um, preparation which we did very simple and in that also we added um, this uh, citrus extract from lemon even orange also can be used lemon juice and orange peels are natural skin bleaching agents they contain lots of vitamin c which plays an important role in producing the collagen fiber that helps support your skin and keep it firm when applied tropically vitamin c has been shown to slow down hyperactive hyperactive of hyperactive melanocytes so it acts as an lightening agent whitening agent bleaching agent all the three are same word so these are the cells that produce melanin which one melanocytes in the basal layer of the skin which causes the skin to tan darker spots tan means darker spots are becoming darker so that can be reduced so now another product which i told that is kojic acid kojic acid japan you remember i told it's from japan a fungus can produce this acid and also in japan they have found out and a mushroom like this a mushroom they obtain and it is having it comes in a natural so this acid is having very good whitening effect very good lightening effect very good bleaching of skin effect so a white crystals powder it is white crystalline powder derived from the fungus in asia kojic acid has long been used in japan a natural alternative to it's a natural alternative to hydroquinone hydroquinone is a synthetic product which has been mixed with steroids and it has been given for external application for various bleaching agent so it is having an effect similar to hydroquinone it has been proved by experimentally and it is very effective at reducing skin decolorization according to american academy of dermatologist kojic acid has been clinically shown to reduce hyperpigmentation it works by inhibiting the function of 
tyrosinase. So students can remember at least tyrosinase. When it is inhibited, the production of melanin is reduced so that bleaching can occur. This is a simple mechanism. You can write very clearly. When they ask about bleaching of skin or lightening of skin, whitening of skin, care in cosmetics, my students have to write this mechanism of action and write the examples. You will get the full mark. Understand function of tyrosinase. The protein, the, it works by inhibiting the tyrosinase, the protein responsible for the production or producing melanin. It also acts as an antioxidant, antioxidant and it is suitable for sun damage or sensitive skin. Kojic acid is a natural substance that is derived from a Japanese species of mushroom. Like this, you can see the mushroom. Japanese species of mushroom can also be obtained and also it can be obtained from a fungus. It has traditionally been used in production of a number of foods including miso, their food, and it is soya sauce and sake. Sake is one of the great, one of the important preparation for Japanese fermented. It is a beverage which is prepared by fermenting. So in that also they are using this kojic acid which is produced from this mushroom. Kojic acid is naturally skin lightening agent or skin lightener, whitener or bleacher which derived from a few different species of fungus but especially from aspagalus uh, aspagalus orizier orizier commonly called as koji in japan they used to say koji in japan this fermentation is done to make a very famous Japanese rice wine. They are fermenting by means of using this rice wine known as shake. I told shake. There you can see shake, sauce, miso. Their food can also be used by this method. And now liquorice extract, liquorice you know very well Adimadram. It is also used, this, this root is also used for liquorice also having a bleaching effect, a lightening effect, skin lightening effect. The juice derived from the roots of the liquorice plant has long been used in China or Chinese medicine as a treatment for all kinds of skin ailments. All type of skin ailments have been treated by means of liquorice in Chinese medicine. And in early 1990s, Japanese scientists identified the compound glabidin present in this root liquorice in liquorice which he observed UVA the light A light and UVB light rays which comes from the ultraviolet rays A and B and acts as a powerful and effective skin whitening element. That's what he has identified. So they say that the glabrin, which is present in the liquorice, responsible for the whitening activity. They are having whitening effect. So when you come to next plan, natural plan, which is having the bleaching effect or whitening effect or lightening effect of the skin care, beerberry extract. Beerberry, the fruit as well as the leaf is also having, especially leaf is having more constituent. The ingredients comes from the leaf of the plant rather than fruit. Fruit also have the beerberry or beer grape is used as an astringent in many cosmetic and contains alpha arbutin which is known as lighten the skin fast which is known to 
lightening the skin very fast. Alpha arbutin, which is present in beer berry. Arbutin has been proven or has been shown to be effective or to effectively lighten or whitening or bleaching freckles, dark spots in the skin and other skin decolorization can also be removed by this arbutin which is present in bearberry extract. A study conducted by the pharmaceutical company by a pharmaceutical or by the pharmaceutical company named Penfarm found that one percentage of alpha arbutin, one percentage of alpha, alpha arbutin concentration revealed, revealed arbutin to have a skin lightening effect, to have a bleaching effect, to have a whitening effect in the skin even greater than the same concentration of hydroquinone. So you see, it is having more than effect of the synthetic compound. So that's why beer berry extract is also having more influence in lightening or whitening or bleaching the skin care done by herbs. So these are all very good examples when you can write and you can know about these things. What is the exact answer for the question? These are all things you have to mention. And then our well-known Indian gooseberry, which one? Phylanthus amblicus. Very good. It's now at present it is having more demand because even it has more antioxidant, it has an effect towards increases the immune power. So in skin also it has more effect, Indian gooseberry. The ex extract from this plant contains antioxidants has antimicrobial properties and is rich with vitamin C. Amblica extract protects the skin from skin sun damage and helps reduce hyperpigmentation. Amblica has been shown to protect the skin against oxidative stress. Reduce wrinkles in the skin, regulate melanin production and help the skin retain in natural moisture. What a great benefits. And you see, Gia White is another flower plant you can see, it's, but it's a very very rare plant and it is not in our place. But it is a very, very, very having more effect on lightening, whitening and bleaching of the skin care or skin. The Giga White is a planted skin brightener. Another word they have given brighter. That is effective in treating dark spots and melasima, dark spots scars and the melasima aggregation aggreg aggregates are concentrated dark spots it is derived from seven organically grown seven naturally grown organically grown with natural manure with natural uh, all all sort no synthetic so organically grown swiss alpine it's a pine alpine plants which include the peppermint plant the common mallow and primila that is cowslip it is called so there are many plants especially seven plants grown in swiss alpine over 100 alpine plants were originally selected for their ability to inhibit tyrosinase. Tyrosinase when it is inhibited, melanin is controlled, whitening, brightening, bleaching, all this activity will take place. This enzyme responsible for production of melanin production that we know that from those the seven plants 
that exhibited the highest tyrosinase inhibiting activity were used to create a natural skin inhibiting activity were used to create a natural skin whitening agent by means of this action it causes natural skin whitening agent which is now widely used in alternative for hydroquinone the synthetic hydroquinone instead of using hydroquinone you can go for this giga white so white mulberry extract the next one this is white ma white mulberry mulberry we might have heard about mulberry most of the place we have this mulberry white mulberry extract so the white mulberry extract moros alba is native to china and has been found to have many health benefits in addition to preventing heart disease cholesterol and diabetics it can also help the whiten the skin bleaching the skin brightening the skin so this is what it has a more effect white mulberry extract is a natural inhibitor to the of the enzyme tyrosinase which is responsible for the production of melanin the enzyme triggers the production of melanin brown pigment in the skin and vitamin b3 niacin you might have studied in vitamins b niacin amide niacinamide is also white that is vitamin b3 or niacinamide has been shown to reduce the production of melanin pigment and acts as an effective skin lightening or bleaching or brightening so and it can be you can even a agent when added to the skin creams and when applied tropically vitamin b helps the skin to retain the moisture making it feel softer and smoother and reducing fine lines and skin care herbs so i have added some skin care herbs also here this is just adding to the question suppose if they ask any other herbs tell about the skin care herbs which all you have studied how can you can care the skin apart from bleaching so in that case you have to write these herbs also if they are asking sometimes a 10 mark question so in that case i have added some of the skin care herbs also and only the names not much details details which some of them you know that so there are also herbs that are commonly used in skin care some of their benefits include the look of radiant and healthy skin and when you apply them to the face the antibacterial property clear up acne and repair skin tissues that have been damaged by the sun and other outside elements aloe vera you know very well the first example i have taken the pulp having lot of lot of application for the cosmetics and to the skin and it has having lot of activity especially bacterial anti fungal and even dandruff and it has moistening smoothing oh it has many effects so aloe vera is either fresh squeezed from the leaves or commercially bottled it smooths the skin and treats burns insects bites and rough skin rashes and wounds it also an incredible moisturizer it's an incredible moisture is true that can tone the correct the skin and that can tone and correct the skin aloe vera is ideal for normal to dry and oil skin types and what straw oats straw is also very good for your skin oats straw is generated from the stems of oat plant you can see the plant oat plant the stem releases the sap that's milky in texture this sap contain properties such as calcium and silica Oat straw makes a perfect organic face wash. It's a perfect organic face wash, and can be combined with essential oils or used alone as herbal oil 
for skin. Basil. It's not, basil is not like Tulasi. It's having slightly different, the same varieties. You can see the leaf, little, it's a, a powder can also be obtained by basil. Basil contains amazing properties stored in the leaves of the plant. Since basil property are antiseptic, it can be used to treat a wide range of skin conditions. From acute to ringworms. Even for ringworms also it can be used, the basil leaves. The juice or gel of this plant is often used tropically, externally, to treat most common fungal infections. Basil is also ideal for those with acne or bacterial problems. And next, hostel. Hostel is a plant. You can see the hostel plant is a grass and also it looks it's like hostel plant. When it is dried, it looks like hostel. Hostel is another name for shave grass that's commonly used for exfoliating the skin. It's an another, it's a use, commonly used. This herb is an astringent that contains silica which promotes the suppleness of your skin. Hostel can also be consumed in tea but it's best used in dry and powder form. You can also add hostel to your bath and promote healthy skin. Kalindula, that is for example, Kalindula. Kalindula is a common flower with us. We have different colors of Kalindula. And this also have very good effect in the skin. Orange parts of the Kalindula flowers contain anti-inflammatory, calming and healing properties. It's one of the least astringent and antiseptic properties on its list, which makes it ideal for treating acne, and acne only, acne skin chapter. Somewhere you can see chapped, crumbled, darkened, damaged or irritated skin can be treated by calendula. Alpha alpha, this also we come across this plant where in agriculture yeast we can see alpha alpha is also as an grown in many places. And it's, it's a wide plant, it's a, it's a wild plant also in many places. As a manure also it is used and it also having skin effect. Alpha alpha plant has nutrient and properties that are found in leaves and seeds. It's also contain carotene which is vitamin A. An antioxidant that contributes to healthy hairs skin and nails. Also alpha alpha has amino acid, vitamin K, chlorophyll and trace amounts of other minerals. Alpha alpha we know that plant. And this is the next plant you can see the leaf is different that is chickweed. Chickweed. It's also weed. Chickweed is incredible smooth thing or smooth thing which applied to the body, it also contains anti-inflammatory, antiseptic and astringent properties. Chickweed treats a wide variety of skin conditions including burns, chapped skin, dermatitis, eczema, insect bites and wounds. It's safe to use on all skin types as it treats dry skin that's been damaged by outside elements. Nettles, this is nettles, it has many 
pinkles and it will sometimes it will get irritated to your skin also while plucking so better to use gloves while collecting nettles are wonderful for treating inflammatory skin disease especially in children it's also useful for clearing up eczema and treating skin wounds and ulcers if you are interested in harvesting nettle in your garden as i told you should wear gloves to reduce your risk of being pricked or shrunk nettles are also be consumed in tea since its hair are neutralizing and safe to digest so that's what we want to tell about nettles and rose hips another plant this is about rose hips how beautiful the fruit you see reddish and it is reddish for that so rose rose hips rose hips are little known to known in the health and wellness industry but it's gained popularity it contain vitamin c which makes it the perfect health tonic since it has immune boosting property immune boosting property rose hips can also be consumed in capsules or hot tea powdering and in capsules also it is available when it is comes in skin care when it comes in skin care rose hips can be used a part of facial or mask it can be used comfrey is property this is also comfrey plant a beautiful flower plant can be found its flowers leaves and roots this property can be used for anti inflammatory and regenerative process purposes comfrey comfrey is also ideal for dry skin since it can treat bruises bruises with redness burns eczema and open wounds for an astringent it incredible soothing and healing so that's what this comfrey is having some application and is it turmeric you know very well turmeric we have already had at this one in many places it's one of the common and highly it is an indigenous to india and we have patent we have took we have taken the patent and we fought for that and we got it turmeric is our product our plant and it has more more value turmeric is found in the rhizome of the plant that looks similar to ginger like many other herbs it also has incredible anti inflammatory properties you can use turmeric to treat lesions and other skin injuries and the last one which i have taken there are many plants this is the last one dandelion the property of the dandelion this is a flower beautiful flower uh, located in the aerial part of its roots and dandelion tea is an excellent way to clear acne acne clear to acne the tea can help treat boils eczema and psoriasis psoriasis even psoriasis it can be used and it's ideal for all skin types in, including patients with dermatitis so not only this much plants there are many other plants indian indigenous plants are also available we have taken some international plants which i have taken as an example for various skin care products and previously i we have discussed about what is bleaching of skin care what is the bleaching which can bleaching agents which can be used for the skin care and what all the natural products which can be used for bleaching the skin so kindly students just have a reference to this now i i have given very little and you can go for more reference also in the future and you can go ahead thank you for being with me thank you very much